This week's vlog is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be taking you on quite a few different adventures and we're just going to do a week in the life of a vintage reseller and we're kicking this episode off doing a pop-up vintage market at my friend Laura's barn. Look at how beautiful this barn is behind me. It is my niece Maya's very first vintage pop-up market and I'm going to take you inside and show you what we've got set up. It's going to be a really fun weekend. <laughs> Roger, thank you. This is for you, Roger. Thank you. Aww. And your Nana's here. Oh. So Michelle is good friends with my friend from Paris, Roger, and he gifted her something from his grandma <laughs> to Roger. That's we love so you, sweet. and we're coming to see you sometime soon. <laughs> this is the ring that I got from Michelle in Murano. It looks so beautiful on you. I Do you it. like it? I, love it? I felt like it was the most you out of everything I saw. You look beautiful. <laughs> Are you ready for day two? This is Maya, for those of you who have not met my niece. Tell them your new business name. Indy's Goods, after my baby boy kitty. Oh. His name's Indy. <laughs> and her Instagram handle is at Indy's Goods. Yes. <laughs> and she's got some beautiful little vintage items. So yesterday was the first day of the market and today's day two. I've got my space over here in this corner. We've got this entire barn filled with vintage. This is Laura. Everybody meet Laura, the other Laura. And over here we have side door vintage. Hi, she's got some amazing finds that she picked up in Switzerland and France. Hatching of a Swiss village. It's beautiful. And, uh, I think it's on Lake Maggiore. <gasps> it's beautiful, and what is this one? This one is a little painting. That's beautiful. Swiss chalet in the mountains. I love it, I wanna go there. I wanna actually be there right now. <laughs> I think I've been there. Have you really? You think so? She lived in Switzerland for two years. Two years. Amazing, amazing. And I don't know how many of you remember when I got my French onion soup in France, but it came in one of these lion bowls and she picked these up in Paris. I've thought about buying them like 20 times already. <laughs> There's so much good stuff. And then Laura sells at a local vintage store and she's been saving up all of this incredible antique vintage beautiful farmhouse primitive stunning stuff and she is so talented at displaying everything i'm so impressed it's funny we've been friends for gosh probably a decade and i keep thinking about all the times we went camping you know and trying to find all these things in common getting to know each other and we never knew that someday we were going to do a pop-up vintage market together so life is funny sometimes how it works out oh my goodness it's he's marble. beautiful it's so pretty he's beautiful she restocked today with some good yeah. stuff. Yeah, seriously. She has a lot. Once again, vintage oh, one. Oh my gosh. So worthy, but they're all from 1969, 1970. You can tell by how they're drawing their faces. Ah. <laughs> Everybody meet Pearl. Hi, Pearl. Oh, yeah. You're so cute. <laughs> Pearl's got a beard. <laughs> so cute. Hi. Hey, Pearl. Pearl. 
Not having it. We've got closing time planned. It's a wrap. It has been so much fun. Thank you everyone who came out to the market. We had a great time. Look at her dress. Look at her dress. It fits. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> Did everyone have fun? We got stuck. We're getting rescued. Sweet, we are moving, we're moving. There we go. Just keep staring it. You got this, Maya. I'm at the Oregon coast for a beach weekend with my cousins. Several of my cousins and I get together every quarter and we do a girls beach weekend. None of our husbands. It's just a great time. Our last beach trip, it was pouring down rain and we spent the entire time on the couch just talking and cooking dinner together and we had a great time. So this time the sun has finally come out and summer has arrived here in Oregon. So I'm going to head to a store to pick up some picnic stuff because I I am in charge of a picnic on the beach for lunch. But before we go grocery shopping, and I won't bore you with the grocery shopping, we are going to Goodwill because I can't come to the Oregon coast without doing some picking too. This is a fun little piece of vintage Raku pottery. It's handmade, it's only $2.99, and I think that this is gonna look really cute when you poke in a few little flower buds in the holes. I can tell just from looking at it that this is an Oregon Myrtle Wood vase. It is only $2.99, which is a great deal for Oregon Myrtle Wood. I recently just passed picking up one of these and packing it home on my European trip, so it is too funny that I am finding one here now back at home. And for only $2.99, this will be beautiful to stage rings on for my website. This is a very pretty vintage brass vase. I love the hammered metal look. This one is only $4.99 and I think that this is gonna look so beautiful with flowers in it. I have recently been researching what to do to make sure all of my little birdies in my forest backyard have somewhere warm to go in the winter time. And I came across these little hanging nests that you can put in your trees. I don't know if that's what this is or not, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it just in case I could make that work. This is another interesting basket. It reminds me of a beehive. It's got a really cool and unique shape to it. It's $3.99. I think the little loop here on the back is to hang it on the wall like this, but I'm not positive. Either way, it's different, it's unique, and you always wanna grab those pieces. This basket is missing its lid, but I really like the size of it. It's only $3.99, and I think that this would be so pretty on a bathroom counter with all of your little hand towels rolled up into it. A beautiful fluted brass etched vase. I love when it's the black and the brass mixed. This one is $4.99 and we're getting it for sure. These are Japanese otogiri in the blue iris design and I think that these are so fun. I'm pretty sure this design was done in the 1980s. I am personally a huge fan of adding pops of black to your space amongst color and I think that these are just fantastic cups. They are only $1.99 each and there's a whole set of four of them. Speaking of black pops of color, these are beautiful black crystal goblets and I think they're gonna make a really good addition to the black ones I already have. I am a huge fan of mixing and matching goblets and the fact that they are slightly taller than the black ones I already have actually makes me like them more. Oh, 
Oh, I had these exact same vases in my wedding. When I got married back in 2012, I went to all of the local thrift stores and collected mixed matched blue and white vases. My entire wedding was pretty much a big DIY project and is actually part of the reason I became a reseller. I had been thrifting pretty much my entire life for my decorations, but I had never started reselling. And after my wedding, I literally had several hundred of these blue and white pieces of pottery, and that is how I very first started reselling. Every time I see blue and white vases like this on the shelves at Goodwill, I get a little bit nostalgic. Now this is a fun little salt and pepper shaker. I've never come across one like this before that is one single solid piece and you put the salt on one side and the pepper on the other. I think this is a really fun one and it's only $3.99. I'm still on the hunt for an olive oil container to sit on my counter. Whenever I see a pattern that I really like, I like to look at the label because you never know, I might be able to type it in and find the olive oil container on eBay or Etsy secondhand. This is a pretty little hand painted piece. I think I've seen this pattern before, but I can't recall what company it was made by. One of the things that I love about traveling is how nostalgic things can be when you think back on the memories. This says it's a Lisbon wine out of Portugal. And as soon as I saw the label on here, it just made me think of how much I didn't like the Portuguese wine that I tried. I'm just not a sweet wine person and I don't like port wine. I'm so sad to say it. I did, however, like the green wine that I tried in Sintra, Portugal. That was definitely not as sweet as the port wine. So I'm dying to know, are any of you guys a fan of port wine? Is it just me or is it just really, really sweet? I love this little mid-century stoneware vase. It has these two holes on the side that you could easily just tie a little bit of rope to or even connect a chain and then turn it into a beautiful hanging planter. This is a beautiful piece, but it's got a crack here in the top section of it. And this one has a huge crack here on the pedestal base. This must be where all the broken pottery goes. I am a huge fan of vintage bedspreads, and this one looks like it's in really good condition. I have one very similar to this on my bed right now. This one is $14.99 and it is a queen size, and we are gonna get it. And I also found myself a little summer hat. Not bad. A lot of times I walk out of that Goodwill with one or maybe two items and I got a whole cart full. So that's pretty exciting. I'm actually the most excited about this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work for the winter nest for in our little forest for our birds, but I've been reading up about how to make sure you keep your birds during the winter in your little woods. And one of the things that they have to have is a place to stay warm. I don't know if this is too big of a hole for them. I think it might be. I think it needs to be like two inches in diameter or three inches inches at most, but we'll see if we can hang this up this winter and I'll get the right kind of stuff to put down here for them to stay nice and warm. I kind of thought for a second when I saw it that it might just be a cover for food on a tray. Sometimes I see these round trays that are woven and they have the tray on the bottom and then this lifts off and you can put the food in there. And I think that kind of just helps keeps maybe rodents out. It's not going to keep bugs out. Anyways, it is definitely not that. Do you think it was meant for a bird nest? I don't know. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And I'm sure gonna give it a shot. We are just going to thrift our way towards my cousins today. And this is a great little vintage store. I've only been in here a couple times, but every time I have been in here, I have found some really good deals. Wow. 
This glass blue pitcher is so perfect for a summertime barbecue. Well, we walked out empty handed, but that's okay. We're on to the next place. Okay, this vase is incredible. This is all hand carved into the stone. They've got it listed as soapstone. I have never seen something like this before. This is really, really incredible. Can you even imagine how long it would have taken to carve this? The amount of detail in the flowers is unbelievable. Look at how adorable this little owl pendant necklace is. He is so cute. It is signed Kirk H on the back from 1973. I can't even, he is just so cute. We are getting him for sure. This necklace is so beautiful too. I'm pretty sure that this is made from a broken piece of pottery and they took the broken piece of pottery and turned it into a beautiful pendant necklace. I love this concept of repurposing something even after it's broken. We have now made our way to Wheeler, Oregon, and this is one of my very favorite antique stores on the Oregon coast. This store is massive. They have several different floors filled with vintage. They've got everything from every era. This is the kind of store I like to come to because you can bring your friends and family and it doesn't really matter what they're into. They're gonna find something amazing. Whether you're looking to resell, you're looking to decorate your own home, or you are into specific collectibles, this store's got it all. Who remembers this pig planter? It is still here. I think this thing is so fantastic. Someone please come and buy it and give it a good home. I am loving the colors on this blue vase. They've got $22 on it. And I think that's a really fair price for a vase this size. It is such a beautiful piece. We are gonna get this one. Recently, I broke one of my very favorite candle holders from Oaxaca, Mexico, and I really love this black pottery from there. So we're gonna get this one today. It's not the same as the one that I broke, but it is a beautiful piece. I love the shape on it. They have some incredible jewelry here at this store. We are absolutely going to be getting a few of these rings. I just got in trouble by my cousins because you know what? The party doesn't start until Laura gets there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I said I was on my way and then I was 10 minutes out and then I got distracted by amazing jewelry at this last vintage store and I couldn't help myself. So now I'm for reals on my way to go see my cousins and I'm gonna have to haul this later because I don't wanna be in even more trouble.
We have made it back from the beach in time to hit the 50% off Sunday sale at one of my very favorite local estate sale companies. These are the best estate sales. When do you get a basket? This is a 1960s Royal Copenhagen piece. It is $65, but today it's half off. And $32.50 is a great deal on this vase. It is worth well over $100. This is another Royal Copenhagen piece, and we are going to get this too. We are off to a very good start already. <laughs> Hold up, wait a second. Did this just happen? Was I so busy looking at that Chimex pour over coffee that I completely missed the fact that there is a Corningware pot that I collect sitting right in front of my face? Sometimes it's really hard editing and watching the video back. Okay, continue shopping. A fun colorful set of cloth napkins. These look like they were never used. There's four of them here. They were $10 and since they are half off, it's only $5 for the set. I keep coming back to this copper pot. It is only $16.50 and these pots can be worth easily upwards of a hundred or more. I am also gonna get these beautiful needlework textiles. This one was $12, so it's only $6. And I think that this might actually look really nice in my breezeway. This one is so neutral and versatile. I can use it in so many different settings. And this one I think would be a beautiful addition to my holiday sale this winter. It's tagged $10, so for half off day, it's only five bucks. Now I'm going to give you a peek inside of one of the most amazing upcoming estate sales that you've ever seen. The basement of this home was completely packed full of incredible art, pottery, furniture, everything you can imagine was found in this home and it's gonna be an amazing sale and hopefully I will see you guys there. Lynn with PDX Estate Services invited me to come in and just do a little preview so I could share all of the incredible stuff that is coming to her next estate sale. If you are in the Portland, Oregon area, and you are interested in coming to this estate sale, it is August 5th and 6th, and you can get more information, including the hours and the address of the estate sale at pdxestateservices.com, or you can follow them on Instagram at pdxestateservices. If you are local, this is for sure gonna be an estate sale you are not gonna wanna miss. So we are ending today's video with a beautiful music and video montage of all of these treasures. And even if you are not local and you're not able to make it to the sale, I hope you enjoy getting to see some of these pieces. One of the things that's so magical about vintage is the memories that these things bring back to us, the nostalgia of a time in our past. So if you see something in this video that brings back a special memory for you, please comment below. We would all love to hear your stories.
Thank you so much for joining me at the market and at the beach with my cousins and the estate sale with Jesse. And I will see all of you in a brand new episode soon.